On October 29, 2011, Saville was found dead at his penthouse flat overlooking Roundy Park in Leeds, two days before his 85th birthday. He was a member of Mensa, the Institute of Advanced Motorists and was made a life member of the British Gypsy Council in 1975, becoming the first, outsider, to be made a member. In 1987, comedian Jerry Sadowitz recorded a performance in Edinburgh where he stated that Saville was a paedophile. The album, Gobshite, was withdrawn amid fears of legal action from Saville. From 1974 to 1988, Saville was the honorary president of FAB. He also sponsored medical students performing undergraduate research in the Leeds University Research Enterprise Scholarship Scheme, donating £60,000 every year. At the age of 18 in 1944, he was conscripted to work as a Bevan boy in the coal mines during World War II where he suffered spinal injuries from an explosion in a mine. He spent three years recuperating, wearing a steel corset and walking with crutches. Most of Saville's honors were rescinded following the sexual abuse allegations made against him. His knighthood wasn't revoked, as a knighthood expires when the holder dies, it cannot be posthumously revoked. Episodes of Top of the Pops hosted by him have been removed from circulation. Saville managed the Meccolocano Ballroom in Leeds in the late 50s and early 60s as well as the Meccone Palais Dance Hall in Ilford, in Essex between 1955 and 1956. His Monday evening records only dance sessions were popular with local teens. During his lifetime, allegations of abuse were made against him dating back to 1963, but these only became widely publicized after his death. His autobiography, as it happens, contains admissions of improper sexual conduct which appear to have been overlooked during his life. Saville began his radio career as a DJ at Radio Luxembourg from 1958 to 1968. By 1968 he presented six programs a week, and his Saturday show reached six million listeners. He was one of the most recognizable DJs in Britain by the early 1960s. Saville set up two charities, the Jimmy Saville Stoke Man Devil Hospital Trust in 1981, and the Leeds-based Jimmy Saville Charitable Trust in 1984. During the sexual abuse scandal in October 2012, the charities announced that they would distribute their funds, of £1.7 million and £3.7 million pounds respectively, among other charities and then dissolved. He is estimated to have raised £40 million for charity. One cause for which he raised money was Stoke Mandeville Hospital, where he volunteered for many years as a porter. Saville also raised money for the Spinal Unit, National Spinal Injuries Centre and the St. Francis Ward, a ward for children and deans with spinal cord injuries. He also volunteered at Leeds General Infirmary and, Broadmoor Hospital. In 2012, Sir Roger Jones said that more than a decade before Saville's death he had banned their, very strange, and, creepy, Jimmy Saville from any involvement in the charity and former British Royal Family Press Secretary Dickie Arbiter said Saville's behaviour had raised, concern and suspicion, when he acted as an informal marriage counsellor between Prince Charles and Princess Diana in their, late 1980s, although no complaints or allegations were made. In 1989, he started legal proceedings against news group newspapers after the News of the World published an article in January 1988, suggesting he had been in a position to secure a release of patients from Broadmoor who were considered, dangerous. Saville won on July 11, 1989, and News Group paid his legal costs. He also received an apology from editors Kelvin McKenzie and Patsy, Chapman. In 2012, it emerged that Saville had sexually abused vulnerable patients at Broadmoor, in a 2009 interview with his biographer. Saville defended viewers of child pornography, including former glam rock star Gary Glitter. He argued that viewers, didn't do anything wrong but they are then demonized, and described Glitter as a celebrity being unfairly vilified for watching. Dodgy films. In the privacy of his home, Gary has not tried to sell them, not tried to show them in public, 
or anything like that. It were for his own gratification. Whether it was right or wrong is, of course, it's up to him as a person. The disturbing interview was not published at the time, and the recording was not released until after Saville's death. Many honors are considered no longer applicable upon the death of the holder. Some of Saville's honors weren't considered applicable after his death, and didn't need to be rescinded. His other honors were withdrawn. In the 70s, Saville was awarded an honorary Green Beret by the Royal Marines for completing the Royal Marine Commando Speed March. Following the allegations of child abuse, his beret award was not revoked, as that honor expires upon death of the Marine. However, the Royal Marines ordered that any certification granted to Saville or mention of his name in their records be expunged immediately. He was awarded an honorary doctorate of law by the University of Leeds in 1986, which was revoked in 2012. He was awarded an honorary doctorate from the University of Bedfordshire in 2009, which was posthumously rescinded in October 2012. He was also was made a freeman of the borough of Scarborough in 2005, this honour was also removed in November 2012.